I'm the Consul General of Germany here in Los Angeles. You are. That's incredible. Uh -huh. Have you heard of this uh, organization before? Uh, actually, I learned about it tonight. Uh, I was invited uh, by the organizers of this event and I was curious at once to learn a lot more. Uh, and this is why I was happy to, to be invited to the event. And I must say, I'm, very often I'm invited to events of this uh, Jewish community because I've been speaking myself here. And so uh, I'm uh, very lucky to be uh, informed about these events. And I was very curious to learn about the work of this organization. So Europe is having its own problem with jihadism, particularly uh, uh, around the holidays you have attacks in the streets, but organized attacks. Mm. Well, we did have, unfortunately, a major uh, attack uh, Christmas uh, in 2016, where we had in Berlin uh, a terrorist attack by, uh, by someone who drove into a crowd at a Christ Christkind market. And yes, we do have problems and we also uh, have to deal with these uh, horrible crimes uh, and unfortunately also with uh, this violence. Um, how familiar are you with uh, lawyering and uh, uh, judiciary? Well, in my field, in the diplomacy, of course, you have a different angle if you deal with the questions of terrorism. And I think it's quite right that also victims are protected by lawyers and are helped uh, to get these people responsible who might play a role in the attacks, be it the attackers themselves or organizations that are behind them. And it, I think it's a very clever way uh, to uh, attack where it hurts. And this is the financing and the money. This is why I think it's a, uh, a legitimate way uh, also to, get, uh, to protect the victims. There are many ties between Germany and Israel, ties between Germany and Israel aren't there? Very, very close. I, would, I was very happy to hear from many Israeli partners that next to the United States, they feel that Germany is their closest ally. And this is a very nice thing to hear if we look at the history. And there's also a great awareness of uh, anti-Semitism taught in German schools of all the European countries, would you say? Very much so. Uh, I learned from Jewish people and institutions here that they think that the German kids know more about Holocaust issues than the Americans and even the Jewish American kids because in our country it is still uh, a must that for example uh, students from 14 to 16 visit uh, Holocaust memorials and concentration camps to learn about it and just uh, last year in summer uh, Germany invited 10 rabbis from the West Coast in the US and I showed them, I was with them, uh, modern uh, Jewish life in Germany. And they were amazed what they learned, how much uh, Germans learn about Holocaust issues. But of course, as this was uh, also a, a trip to show them the real world, we also showed them, yes, there is as well uh, anti-Semitism in Germany, uh, but to a very smaller extent uh, and uh, we do for example have way stricter laws than the United States concerning hate speech concerning for example uh, if somebody denies the Holocaust in Germany he will be punished if somebody shows the, uh, the Hitler greeting uh, he will be punished and, we, and, and this is way stricter and of course Germany values very much the freedom of speech but not to the extent that you, you are allowed uh, openly to deny Holocaust, that you're allowed to uh, uh, have hate speech. Uh, the work that she's doing here in the courts, uh, what kind of support would she be getting from the European governments? Well, I, know, I know the banks are probably uh, resisting her efforts to, to uh, cut down on terror finance. We have to see the role that each of the players is having. 
governments, they have different approaches to fight terrorism than NGOs or in this way, in, in this legal way. And I think the work uh, that this organization is doing is very valuable. Of course, there are many sides to it. And tonight we heard about one side. Uh, and I think they are doing a great work. Uh, sometimes we are 100% on the same page. Sometimes we have different approaches. Uh, how involved is uh, Germany with Interpol? in catching, tracking down terror networks? Very much. Interpol for the European Union is one of the most important tools to uh, get terrorists, to fight them. But on the other hand, also diplomatic work is an important tool to, uh, to, together to work against terrorism. And the European Union, together with the United States and other dem democracies like Israel, is doing a lot to fight terrorism. And we need to fight together because terrorism is something global and one nation will never be able to cope with a problem alone. Do you perceive Israel as a Western ally? I do. Uh, Israel is an important ally of Germany. Uh, we are maybe not always on the same page in, in certain issues. And uh, allies, especially friends, should also be allowed to criticize each other. Maybe not in the open, but definitely behind closed doors. That's what diplomacy is all about. Uh, you do not uh, yell in public and accuse someone else, but if you have issues, you discuss them in, uh, behind closed doors. But definitely Israel is one of our close allies, even though, as I said, we do not agree in every subject. Mm.